I got myself a DeWalt battery that no longer takes a charge, so uh, let's have a look inside. It's put together with these star-shaped screws, which are the size of a T9 screw, but there's a little pin in the middle. Got myself a concrete nail here. I'll just put that between the pin and the outside of the screw. And that breaks out that pin. Looking inside the pack, it's got uh, 15 of these 18650 style cells. You can see this size here. Five of them here, another five here, and another five here. And they're wired in three sort of rows of five, but not rows like this and this. These five cells make one row, and these five cells make one row, and these make one row. And each of these uh, five cells makes 20 volts, and when the battery pack is in 20 volt mode, because it's flex volt, these uh, three rows are essentially in parallel, but uh, if this button here is pushed, this thing here, that switches over so that these are all in series, at which point it's a 60 volt battery pack. Now most of these cells in here have a pretty reasonable voltage on them. 3.9 volts, that's still within reason. Oh, this one's really low, 0.4 volts. That one's got 4 volts. So I measured the voltages for all the cells in this pack, and most of these are still pretty reasonable, except for these three at the bottom. The voltage on these is so low that basically they're irrecoverable. The rest of them should still be good. Now it's tempting to try to fix this battery pack, and I've even seen a YouTube video of somebody essentially just chiseling out one of the batteries from the pack without disassembling it, sliding a new one in and reconnecting it. But with three cells on this one busted, I think that would be a bit much... So I'm just going to take it apart and see what I can reuse. Uh-oh. I think I just let some magic smoke that bit there. I punctured that one, but that was a busted cell already. I don't know. The problem is these connectors here were spot welded on, I think, after the plastic was put on. But I'd rather not break those spot welds, because I think those tabs might be useful still. I am really impressed with how solidly this battery pack is put together. There's uh, plastic between the cells holding everything together. The end caps hold it all together. Unfortunately, that makes it really hard to get apart. But probably very strong against being dropped. Got one out. <laughs> and you can see how all these plastic parts go way in and in between the cells. That really holds it together. Okay, extracting cells out of these battery packs is totally not worth it. But I managed to get four of those out that might still be usable. They all have like 3.9 volts or more, so they're not toast yet. So what I have in mind with these cells is this drill here because the battery on this one just doesn't hold very much charge anymore. Well, I could not get this battery pack apart, uh, not without destroying it completely, at which point I wouldn't be able to rebuild it with different cells. So I gave up on this. It still holds some charge. But uh, not really that usable anymore. I think I'll let the kids play with this one from now on. As for these battery packs, uh, I think you can safely say no user serviceable parts inside and no reusable parts either. And it's now two weeks later and I solved the battery problem with this one by buying this one off of Amazon for $45 Canadian including taxes and delivery and it's still got a fresh battery. But I kept on thinking about this, why did those three cells fail, but not the rest of the pack? In the video I'd seen somebody replace one of these cells, it was this one. So one of these three too, and why these? What's about these positions? But in terms of how these are wired up, uh, all three of these cells are the middle cell in their respective chain of five cells. And I was starting to wonder if there's something systemic that makes those three cells more likely to fail. 
So I opened up two more FlexFold battery packs. These are still good. And I measured the voltage of every cell. And these three cells in both packs had the lowest voltages on them. So those three cells being low in charge seems to be a systematic problem. And I think I know why. On any lithium battery pack where you have multiple cells in series, it's important to keep these balanced because if you just charge them in series and discharge them in series, eventually you get out of balance and overcharging the batteries damages them and undercharging them damages them. So you need some kind of circuit that has the ability to apply a load to individual cells to basically kind of get them all to the same level by draining the high ones. And that circuit, of course, has to get its power from somewhere. And I think the, uh, the charge controller circuit essentially uses its ground as basically off the middle cell so that it has less of a voltage delta to the other cells for measuring. Essentially, it runs off the middle cell, consumes very little power, but over months, if this isn't used, that means it drains down the middle cell just a little bit. And the cell balancing, turns out, only happens while we're charging. So if this battery pack is sitting idle for months and months, it will drain down the middle cell a little bit. And so if you have a DeWalt battery that hasn't been used for months but is still full and you decide to just run it hard all the way to empty, that middle cell ends up getting way undercharged, goes essentially reverse voltage and kills it. And after taking all these measurements, I put both of these battery packs on the charger for a while and then measured all the cells again and now they're in balance. So indeed they only balance when they're on the charger. Now what I'd love to do is actually look at the circuit and tell you, yes indeed, uh, that's what it does, but uh, this is so coated in silicone and so hard to get at anything that I haven't been able to get this apart and actually uh, figure out what's going on, so this is just speculation. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. And so if you're like me, where you might not have used the battery pack for a long time, if you're about to use it hard, either put it on the charger or just don't run it all the way down and that way you avoid the risk of reversing one of the cells and you save yourself a whole bunch of money that way.